Hey, I'm Willie and thanks for coming back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Unify. If you remember from the last video, which was the 5.3.8 video, I talked about how I was going to have a production controller, you know, that was always the latest version of code. That controller was actually a VM, and then I thought, hey, you've got a cloud key you're not using. Why don't you use the cloud key instead of a VM? It'll be a lot easier. And I thought, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to unbox the cloud key. For those of you who are not familiar uh, with the cloud key, it is a device from Ubiquity that runs a, the controller locally. Uh, and you can see from the box this thing is not very big. So I'm going to go ahead and open the box. You have a quick start guide. You have the device itself. And this thing is tiny. Look at this. This thing's still got the plastic on it. Don't know if they uh, got that picked up on uh, audio, but here's a standard pen, ballpoint pen, and here is the cloud key. So you can see the cloud key is not very big. This thing's about eh, two fingers wide, and I don't have huge hands. Um, so I'm trying to see. I have a mesh unit here. Let's see this. I have. All right, so here is uh, the mesh unit that we've been dealing with, and there is the cloud key. I don't know. So you can see the cloud key is not very big. So now that we're done having a a cloud key size contest what else comes in the package then we've got an SD card this one is uh, 8 gig Kingston class 10 so that's a pretty decent card and so we'll take the card out of this, this they sent it in like in this little uh, plastic envelope I'm not it's like a little purse like a little uh, purse for the this SD card I'm not quite used to that so we'll go ahead and open that up most of my uh, SD cards come like this, not in a little purse, a little plastic purse. That's that's a nice little touch, Ubiquity. So we'll get the SD card out, and this is, I believe, used for storage. So we'll go ahead, and if you look at the back of the cloud key, and you can bear, you probably can't see it. But uh, there is an icon that shows you which way the card goes in. So if you're looking at the card and you can see the gold contacts, um, then the card goes in kind of what you would think of maybe as uh, upside down. So this is the top side with the logo. So gold pins go up. Place it into the cloud key just like most other devices. It clicks in. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, so that's done. Then if you're not going to power this with PoE, you uh, can plug, um, I don't know, let's look, I'm guessing 5 volts, like a 5 volt adapter. Let's see. If you, uh, yeah, so it's a 5, five volt, uh, 1 amp, so Raspberry Pi uh, power brick will probably power this thing. Um, and then if you are going to plug it into a PoE switch, it has to be an 802.3 AF compliant switch. So uh, the last thing that's in the package is this handy dandy little Ethernet cable. And this thing is, I don't know, I'm terrible with... Uh, with size but here's the uh, here's the cloud key here's the Ethernet so the Ethernet cable is as long as the cloud key and I don't know if you can see that it's got the ubiquity logo on it it's a really nice uh, sturdy cable so we'll plug this in here's the overall device then at this point so this is a, an on-premise hardware controller for all intents and purposes so we will plug this into a PoE switch and um, we'll move on to the next step I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we'll, and we'll talk about that next step in just a minute. 
Okay, so my cloud key is now powered on, or is in the process of, of powering on. Um, and the test date on this says 12-29-2015. I did receive this this year, but that was the test date. So I have absolutely no idea what version of code is, is on this. But one thing that's really nice is if you um, have Chrome, Ubiquity has a device discovery tool. As you can see here, I have a Chrome tab open and I've typed in Chrome colon slash slash apps. And you can see I do not have the Ubiquity app. I have pretty much a vanilla Chrome. So if you cruise on over to https colon slash slash chrome.google.com slash web store, you can search the store. So we're going to search for Ubiquity. And you can see, oh, somebody has made an app for something. Uh, it's not English, and they want to charge you six bucks. Not sure what that is. But uh, down here, there's the Ubiquity device discovery tool offered by ubnt.com and it says discover ubiquity devices on your local network it's like it got four and a half out of five stars but we're gonna go ahead and hit add this to Chrome it's gonna ask us add ubiquity device discovery tool and we're gonna to say yeah go ahead and add the app alright so it popped back over to our app screen and now you can see the ubnt discovery icon is there I'm gonna turn around look see if uh, the cloud key is ready for us to find it yet yes looks like it is ready so we are going to uh, we're gonna find the cloud key on the network and we're gonna do a base setup we're gonna upgrade it get it up to the uh, 5.3.8 controller and then in the next video we'll add a USG and we'll really kinda dig into that topology view that I'm excited about so uh, here's our UBNT discovery tool. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to come up. And it's going to start finding devices. So you can see I've got um, all kinds of uh, devices there. We're going to go to the Unify family. And then we're going to hit Find Cloud Key. And you can see that the Cloud Key is on 192.168. 66.174 it is in a pending status so we're gonna go ahead and click the IP on this guy oh that was open Internet Explorer open edge that that was that was strange 192 168 66.174 we'll go ahead and uh, we will forgive Windows 10 for doing that to us. We're just going to remember this IP 192.168.66.174. Our connection is not private. That's because we're running the default SSL cert. So the screen comes up and we can take a look at our options. It looks like it's got version 4.8.3 of the controller loaded. And the Unify Cloud Key firmware is 0 0.34. And if we hop over, let's, uh, take a look at this. We are going to click on Configure our Cloud Key. So the default username and password should be UBNT, UBNT. And that's what it is. It comes up and it automatically prompts us to change the password. Okay, um, we're using 0.1 gig of our of our disk space, and it looks like we've got 1.3 gig left. <sighs> we've been uh, online five minutes. Time and date, MAC address, version, all that good stuff. We'll come over here to configuration. We can disable the reset button, or we can leave it turned on. We're going to go ahead and leave that turned on. We're going to call this unify cloud key slash how lab. And then we're going to come in here 
And right now the cloud key is at 192.168.66.174. Um, we are actually going to give this thing a static IP address inside of our network. And I think we're going to give it uh, 192.168.66.5 with a class C subnet, gateway of 66.1. Primary DNS is the on-premise DNS server that I run, and we'll go ahead and apply these changes. Now, I don't know if this is going to redirect us to the new web page or if we'll just lose um, communication with this. So I'm not able to ping it. Can I ping it on the new IP? There it is. So let's go ahead and go to the new IP okay configuration that looks good we could add a secondary DNS server um, but for anything I don't resolve internally I go I go out anyway um, you know probably in a product well actually in a in a production environment there's no probably about it I do run at least primary secondary sometimes tertiary so under the maintenance tab uh, we can change our password we can reboot power off reset the defaults and here is what what we want to do now is we want to check for updates so we are on version 0.3.4 out of the box the general release that is available is 0.5.9 so we are going to go ahead and tell this thing to update now and it says updating the firmware will update the unify controller that's fine we don't have anything adopted to it yet so it is going to download and it's going to update I'm going to let it do its thing and we'll be right back okay so it went to a rebooting status it downloaded the firmware um, and is updating it and now it is rebooting so we are now at a please wait prompt and as soon as something changes uh, we'll let you know okay so the cloud key rebooted and now we are at this logon screen so we're gonna go ahead and put our credentials back in and we are now on 0.5.9 Unified hyphen cloud key hyphen how lab. Everything up oh, time zone. We will change that. We are central time. Go ahead and save that. Gosh, I hope that didn't require a reboot. Okay. <laughs> uh, maintenance, everything looks good. So it did update Unify to 5.3.8. So um, now we will go ahead and log out of the cloud key portion here. And just for some congruency, we went back to the IP. So now we can manage the Unify controller or the cloud key. So we'll go ahead and click uh, Manage Unify. Now there is there is nothing here this is like brand new blank slate you know we're setting this thing up from scratch so let's see what it does here all right so thank you uh, for purchasing unify ubiquity's enterprise wi-fi solution and it's going to walk us through this setup so we're going to enable auto backup. We don't have a backup we want to restore from, so we'll go next. We don't have any devices ready for this yet, so we'll go ahead and go next. Configure Wi-Fi. So for this, this is going to be how lab Wi-Fi. nice long password uh, please provide an administrator name and password for the unify controller
Now, we don't have to let it use the same username and password for SSH access, uh, but we will for just simplicity's sake here. Now, what the cloud access does is it does not store your controller in the cloud. Uh, if you're like me, you're you know you're very conscientious about what you stick in the cloud, how you use cloud services, things like that. A lot of people love the on-premise. I am one of those people who love the on-premise. But what this service allows you to do is it allows your cloud key to talk to Ubiquity servers and just use Ubiquity as a conduit to give you access to the cloud key no matter where you're at. So it's not that Ubiquity is, is actually you know, acting as your controller, it's that if you don't want to expose the cloud key directly to the internet, if you don't want to do port forwarding or uh, DNAT, you don't have to. You can use this conduit, use Ubiquity as the conduit to access this cloud key from anywhere through the Ubiquity cloud access. It's not, it's not a bad thing in my opinion. Uh, I am not going to enable this at the moment, so I'm going to click st skip. Uh, but if you're interested in this, you know, please leave the comments, and uh, I may cover this. Here uh, is our confirmation page, the secure SSID, the admin name. We're going to go ahead and click finish. Now it's going to bring us up to a login screen. We can see that we're on the 5.3.8.2. Data retention is not set. Please set data retention to specify how long to store client statistics, history, etc. We're going to go to seven days on that. Sorry about that. Uh, that's our home phone and I don't even know how people get that number because it's not listed and we never use it so <laughs> sorry about that uh, you can see we don't have any devices and I don't know if anything yeah I'm not even seeing managed by other right now so clients insights but if we go to that map and we go to that topology that's that topology that's got me really excited that we're gonna dig into and now we've got our dedicated controller and so in the next video, we're going to add the USG and then we'll add a switch and an access point. Uh, I, I will probably break those up into separate videos so I can really spend some time talking about each of those devices. And, um, you know, then, the, then we'll get to see that topology view. So if you've got any questions about the cloud key, you know, please put them down in the comments. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And I will see you at the USG video.